One of the unintended effects of COVID-19 has been a massive spike in cybercrime. Manufacturing is on the front line. Is the future of manufacturing at risk? And how can we all work together to safeguard from cybersecurity attacks? The whole ecosystem that we're living in has changed. Manufacturing is not just a production and fabrication. Some people think that the industry is, is purely fabrication or it's sort of hammer and anvil type it's old, old school work. I mean, it's highly skilled, highly technical now, state of the art, cloud based, uh, IoT, smart, data oriented. The emerging technologies are highly embedded in the manufacturing industry now. The data shows the increase in cybersecurity threats, so it's not the time to compromise and it's not the time to cut the budgets. It's actually the time to uh, double down and make sure that you are closing the gaps. We have to go back and reassess kind of our cybersecurity framework and what good looks like and say, okay, this is how we're going to do things now. This is what good looks like now. We know that the manufacturing industry has been through massive digital transformation and that can create within enterprises blind spots about digital dependencies and digital risk. So the action that I would love to see uh, across all companies, not just the big, big sophisticated ones, is that the chief information security officer, the CEO, CTO, the business unit leaders get together in a room, figure out in their transformed business, what are those big digital risks and what's the worst thing that could happen. There's no standard that's gonna tell them what that is. They have to know their own business and figure it out and then go tackle those high consequence scenarios. There's a lot of great standards out there already. Uh, we need to drive adoption at a much faster rate. And that may mean putting more regulatory teeth behind some of these standards, but it's A, getting them adopted um, right now by customers, and then making sure the new standards keep up with the pace of technology development and the attack vectors, right? They're, they're not slowing down and waiting for standards, right? So how do we make it faster, both in adoption and the development of new standards? We actually have the coalition of the willing here that the companies are interested in these, this greater good in relation to safety and cybersecurity is part of that. And they will come together and advise on a government strategy uh, quite willingly.